Hello, my name is Daniel Daly and welcome to the Basketball Soapbox. Um, thank you guys for checking out the other videos on my channel. Um, Ring Takes with Brian and Lewis, where we talk about wrestling so far, leading up to Elimination Chamber, but getting feedback on that, as well as the trade deadline review I did with Emmanuel Vincent the other day. Uh, going over the trade deadline, that was crazy. Um, you guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me as much feedback as possible. Um, and thank you for joining me on this. Um, but in this episode, we're going to be talking about NBA All-Star Weekend um, heading up next week there as we wind down the, the second half, of the second quarter of the NBA season to halftime, basically. Um, the NBA All-Star Game is in Salt Lake City this year in Utah. Um, as expected, the, the All-Stars we expected to be there got there. Some guys maybe got snubbed and stuff like that. Um, but mainly the, the headliners are there, you know, LeBron, Tatum, Giannis, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, other guys like that, Steph Curry, um, John Moran, other guys like that. And the thing that's been holding back the season a little bit, that's the only – what's been my biggest gripe with the NBA season this, so far this season has been injuries. Even to the point where it's affecting the All-Star game, you have some guys that are out basically um, for extended periods of time, um, some late – some late scratches coming here, heading into the all-star game. Um, Stephen Curry has tears in his leg, his partial in his leg. Um, and that's been the story of the Warriors season where they just haven't been able to get out of a, a, a deadlock there. Um, being a lower seed in the Western conference where they've just been battling injuries with Steph Curry, the defense hasn't been there. And now Steph Curry is going to miss the all-star game. He's going to be replaced by De'Aaron Fox, who I thought had a pretty good chance to make it, especially with the Kings record there in third place. Now, currently, they were in fourth place, I believe, when the all-star game uh, starters and reserves were announced there. Um, but to see De'Aaron Fox get into that's well-deserved for him, his first time going. Um, new blood there in the guard position. You know, we already have John Moran and Steph Curry and Luka Doncic already. Um, they added SGA is there as well. Uh, Shea Gilders had Alexander. Um, so, you know, to see De'Aaron, uh, De'Aaron Fox get in there is awesome. But uh, not having Steph Curry in the All-Star game when he's been a staple year in and year out, um, that's crazy not to see him go. Uh, moving on, we got Zion Williamson, who was playing MVP level uh, with the New Orleans Pelicans as they were at the top of the conference. And ever since he's been out, they've lost. They had a t stretch there where they lost 10 straight. And now they're looking in the plan, and that's the way the season has gone. Um, Zion was playing fantastic, scoring and, and really leading that Pelicans team to a top seed in the Western Conference, um, especially with periods of time where Brandon Ingram was out, where C.J. McCollum missed a couple games there. And to see Zion actually flourish and look like he was healthy and have played multiple games, uh, have consistency. It's like seeing that guy play at that level. It's like we know what this guy's going to be in this league, and then a hamstring injury happens, um, which is really, really unfortunate because he was running on all cylinders. He had the Pelicans going, um, and to see it fall out like that, it sucks, man. Not for him not to be in the All Star game as well. Um, he's replaced by Anthony Edwards in Minnesota, who I thought was a borderline All Star. Um, really picked it up over the past couple months to try to get in there um, and so solidify the spot there in the All Star game. Um, but he's going to be there as a reserve, um, young kid, number one pick, getting into the NBA uh, All-Star game. Um, it's awesome for him. Um, he's really been playing well, really trying to pick it up with Minnesota, especially with the Carl Anthony Towns injury, and they kind of went down a little bit, and he's kind of turned around with them. Um, and it's good to see, again, new blood getting into the NBA All-Star game uh, with Anthony Edwards going. Kevin Durant, that MCL sprain, he's been gone for like two months recently traded to Phoenix, as we all know, this week. He's replaced by Pascal Siakam, and it's just like Kevin Durant also has been a staple in the NBA All-Star game. His time in OKC, his time with the Golden State Warriors. He's been in Brooklyn, and now we're seeing him injured and missing time again. Um, even though he was selected for the Eastern Conference and just got traded to the Western Conference, Pascal Siakam, who I thought was should have been an NBA All-Star, I felt like he should have been there somewhere. I know it's, there's a number of forwards and guards that they can have, but he's been playing at all NBA level, despite Toronto being stagnant in the offensive end there. Um, I thought he was good enough to make it averaging 25, I believe, and just putting up some good numbers there in Toronto. Um, definitely should be an all-star. Now he is. Uh, so we got some young bloods entering the game there in Salt Lake City. But it's just like just thinking about how the injuries have affected every team this season. Devin Booker just missed two months. Uh, James Harden and Tyrese Maxey has just missed uh, two months out there um, in Philadelphia. 
in Boston, you have Horford down for a little bit. And now you have Brown out for a week or stuff like that. Um, Robert Williams is trying to come back. You had Jimmy Butler miss some time for the Heat. It's just a mountain of injuries happening in the league right now. And it's just like, damn, like Memphis just lost Stephen Adams. Like these guys, not even all stars, but guys that are starters in prominent roles on their team. Guys are sin- missing significant time. It's like Denver has been the only team to escape the injury bug when last year they were the team stricken with injuries. So when you're looking around the league, it's just like we don't really know what team is which and what they're going to do here uh, going forward. But it's like, damn, like all these teams have been hit with injuries. Some guys are coming back now. Some guys just got hurt and now sitting out. Um well, let's continue with the other guys that potentially might be out. LeBron James, who just broke broke the all-time scoring record uh, for Kareem Dua Jabbar on Tuesday night. Um, had a, he left that game with a foot injury, it looked like, and Chris Hans recently came out and seemed like said this is going to be a nagging injury, um, which is ex- kind of expected with those type of foot injuries. Those really never go away at this point in the season, and that's going to be tough. And he can possibly miss the All-Star game. So we're seeing if he's going to play uh, next week there – before the All Star game, and see what to give it a go there. Um, I don't. I can't even think of who's going to be his replacement if he's gone. Uh, this has just been crazy. And then we have uh, uh, Joel Embiid. He had a big game tonight uh, against the Nets, thirty-seven to thirteen. There was questions about his foot as well heading into the All Star break. So we're going to see if he's going to be available. Um, and finally, Jalen Brown just got his face freaking broken by Jason Tatum off a, a scramble for a rebound. Um, and it looks like he's potentially going to miss the all-star game too. We'll see what happens. He's going to be reevaluated next week, but it's just like, damn, like all these injuries, all these freak injuries happening. And it's just, it's, it's derailing the NBA season from that standpoint. Like there's still good basketball play being played, uh, still entertainment value there. But my only problem here, injuries, man, there's really holding a lot of teams back, really messing them up. Um, when you think you just look, you just run down these teams in Milwaukee, Mr. Drew Holiday and Chris Middleton for a significant amount of time that affected their record and affected how they came out to start the season as well. And now you see Giannis leading that team. Um, Philadelphia, I mentioned earlier with James Harden and Tyrus Maxey, that's their whole backcourt and it was gone. Um, so they've been able to make some moves and on the fly and try to get it back together and try to get Harden back to an also NBA level um, as they head for the second half of the season. Um, Looking at Phoenix, Devin Booker just came back from two months. Steph Curry has been out. Steven Adams is out. Um, it looks like the Kings and Nuggets are the only two teams to avoid the injury bug here. Um, hopefully everyone can get healthy, but it's just like when you think about the All-Star game, you think about all the guys that were just standards there, staples there. Now potentially these guys that are the standard of today's generation are missing the All-Star game. It's just like it's, it's crazy and it's unfortunate. And hopefully guys are able to stay healthy for the second half of the season. Um, It just sucks. As an NBA fan, you want to see Steph Curry. You want to see LeBron. You want to see Embiid. You want to see these guys be at their top level in the all-star game and have fun. Um, I think the game has gotten better, especially over the past couple of years, especially with the uh, Kobe Bryant MVP award. They they recently uh, renamed that. That gives guys a little bit more edge, the charity to – and the quarter victories by the either team there, uh, they pick a charity and decide which uh, – and basically play out the quarter to see who uh, wins the most money for charity there to go towards their cause um, in the town that they're in. So I think that's very important for the players there to do that. Um, and also the target score. I feel like that's a very awesome touch on it, on the game. Um some people were saying put it in regular games. I'm like, ah, I don't really agree with that. But the all-star game, really, it just works perfectly. Um, basically, you have to score 24 and whatever the target score there is for the team that ahead at that point in time. That's what the target score is. So it definitely gives a different vibe there. And I like how also that they're doing the pick pickup style game type mentality where it's only 30 minutes before tip off where they pick their players. Uh, so Team LeBron, Team Giannis will pick their players 30 minutes before the game takes up uh, tips off um that is going to be crazy to see and this be the ultimate pickup game in the all-star weekend um that's going to be awesome to see for sure